What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. As you can see, I got a couple GPUs laying here on the desk. Some of them are deshrouded, but we do need to get these guys all installed into this X12 Octo Miner. I do have an X8 that we also need to strip down, and I have some big plans coming up for the crypto mining solar trailer. So, just before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Fluxpools.net would like to announce a new weekly lottery for loyal miners that support their projects. As you might already know, Flux Labs is operated by the people from the Flux team and their goal is to provide a safe and transparent mining experience. While the Flux project does not take directly from the pool, they do give a portion of their fees back to the Flux project because they understand that both the project and the miners are what make this pool possible. Flux Pools is giving away nearly 5,000 Flux a month back to miners and they've decided to reward even more miners during this time of uncertainty. The new weekly flux lottery replaces the $1,000 per month giveaway and gives five lucky miners with a 95% uptime or greater $50 in flux every week. There are 11 months remaining with over 40 chances to win. In addition, all mining and parallel asset fees are waived until October 5th. This is all on top of their weekly loyalty program. The giveaway prize will be sent directly to the mining address and nowhere else. So please do not mine directly to an exchange. Your rewards may be lost as a result. Please check out fluxpools.net for a great place to mine. All right, so let's start off talking about Power Queen. Sending over these batteries last week. Thank you so much for that. We have the DC to DC converter right here. This is a 12 volt by 24 volt DC converter. It feeds 12 volt directly to my mini doges that I proved last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave a link above. But I went ahead and ordered eight more setups because I have six mini doges and I have three iPolos. So I should theoretically have nine setups now to be able to hook up all of them directly to a bus bar right off the batteries instead of going DC to AC back to DC. It makes no sense and you guys are totally right on that end. So let's open these things up, check them out, make sure they're all good, but they all should be exactly like this. There we go, eight of those. They all look exactly the same. We got the uh, 24 volt by 12 volt out. So that'll hook right up to our system, which is nice. And then these are the little connectors that actually come inside the box with those. Now these should all be fuses like this guy right here to wire in just before we hook these up to the batteries. And there we have eight of those guys so perfect these are actually 30 amp like little car fuses as i mentioned before we can change these out to 20 amp ones if i need to because this thing was pulling i think it was uh 17 amps off of this when we tested it on this uh, little meter in the last video so again if you guys haven't seen it go check that out you guys can see what we're going to do but that's the plans coming up and then these guys i ordered some more of those heat sinks there that i put on my a4000 and we're gonna be putting these on the 3080 and 3080 Ti's inside the uh, X8 Octominer. I'm gonna be taking those cards out of the X8, put them in the X12, but I need to add more to keep those cards cool so I can actually mine flux on those cards at fluxpools.net. Now, this guy right here, this is my RX 580 that I really need to figure out what the hell's going on with it. So. I'm not fully sure what's up with it, but somebody in the comments told me to run a heat gun over this and see if it works. I don't know how close I need to get. What do I need to do? Can you guys tell me in the comments below, do I need to like heat this thing up really good or just kind of give it a couple passes with the heat gun? I'm really not sure. Again, please let me know in the comments below. Then over here, I have a couple fuses. We're gonna be switching up the fuses. Sorry, the reflection's pretty bad, but these are 100 amp fuses. I have like 250 amp fuses right now in the battery bank inside the crypto mining trailer. So they're just way too high. Technically these should be around 80, but either way, a hundred is way better than 250 like they were. So I got four of those. I should be able to hook up a couple more sets of batteries in the trailer safely. And then finally, what we have here is some bigger gauge wire. This is a two gauge and we're gonna be feeding directly from the grow watt inverter or the charge controller that we're gonna be swapping out to at some point when I get a new one with some bigger wire because it carries or it's gonna be feeding a lot more solar power through and I would rather use the four gauge to connect between the batteries and use the two gauge to feed the actual bank so it's kind of just you know there's no risk of uh anything messing up i just feel like it's a little more safe that way and then also at some point i do need to get this guy hooked up with these 
batteries. So that's going to be my plan there, but I don't know. I have a whole bunch of shit that we need to get done and I just don't have enough time in the day to do it. So what we're going to do right now is I want to go outside and I want to kind of go over the plans for this stuff. This is my main goal right here. And then we're going to focus on getting the other batteries installed in the entire setup. But I want to figure out how I'm going to put these DC to DC converters inside the trailer. So let's get out there right now and go take a peek. And of course, as I start coming out here, it's starting to rain, great. All right, you guys can see, I got 100 amp hours of batteries right here in this setup. Now, this place is a freaking mess. I gotta get rid of this rack or you reutilize it somehow for the batteries. I just haven't figured out exactly how I want to do it, but I do need to get those queen power batteries in here alongside these ones because they're all 100 amp hour batteries except for that guy, but I have them hooked up in a certain way that it's going to work exactly the same as like that bank right there or these guys right here. So we should be good. Um, again, I'm going to get those all there. And then I think the DC to DC converters are just going to be installed like maybe right here. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this actually. I might have to put the mini doges in here, which kind of sucks because I kind of wanted to keep them in here. I mean, this is another thing I gotta clean up. Ever since we took out all of the other server cases, you can see all my fans are over there, X8's right there, Jazz Miner's on top. I gotta get a shelf of some sort right here so we can get the uh, PDUs all hooked up, like nice and neat alongside the Ipolos and Doge Miners. So I'm not really positive how I want to do that. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it actually, I might run a wire off of this bus bar up and over to another bus bar in here and then hook up the DC to DC converters. Let me know what you guys think about that actually down in the comments below. I honestly think that might be a really good idea to do this. And then what we'll do is I want to try to get another charge controller not this one right here. So this is a charge controller inverter all in one. And I really think I'm gonna take this and reutilize it in my camper so I can actually have some off-grid power in my you know, camper. That's what I enjoy to do on the weekends, right? Except for, you know, make YouTube videos like everybody else. But now what we're gonna do is get a real inverter that's capable of more panels. It's starting to rain, like I said, so I gotta do this quick. But we have out here, you can see, this is my little solar panel setup for all you guys that most likely already know about it and new people this is what i have i have a video that i rebuilt these and showed you guys how to build these little poles and stuff these are all swivel and i can just kind of move them around and lift them up re-angle them whatever i got to do for when the sun's out as you can see the raindrops are collecting right now as i'm talking but yeah it's um it's going to be nice i want to get more of these i'd like to get another one back there and i'd like to get some more over there because when the sun comes up it comes up over these trees and it doesn't really hit these panels till about 11 but the sun hits over here way sooner than that so i think i'm gonna have a setup like this over here someday the wife's gonna hate me but that's what we're gonna do because we need more power for these rigs. And that's, uh, you know, unfortunately, par of the course when you're a crypto miner. You gotta find out ways to get more set up so you can uh, run as many miners as possible. And obviously, free electricity is one of those things that you just dream of, right? I mean, that's kind of the whole goal here, but I'm super excited to get some more batteries in here. I do have a couple more on the way as well. So we're trying out all different types of brands inside this crypto mining trailer. So guys, stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys haven't seen my sweet sticker wall, so if anybody would like to send over a sticker, please feel free. I'm not sure if I missed anybody besides 56. I just received his, which I'm going to put right here as soon as I grab it. I totally forgot it's actually in the house. But yeah, if you guys have stickers, you want to send them over, feel free. I'll leave a PO box down in the description below if anybody's interested. So yeah, guys, let me know if you think that's a good idea, pulling from that bus bar over to another bus bar for the mini doges and stuff. Really, I think it's a good idea, but... I don't know, who am I? I'm just a YouTuber, you guys are smarter than I am, so keep me posted, let me know if that's a great idea. Next video, I'm gonna clean all this up and we're gonna get these batteries resituated here on a rack, that, that has to be the first thing and then we can deal with the bus bar and all that. But either way guys, I wanna get inside because it's starting to rain. Appreciate you all for watching and peace out. The GPU Hanger. Misfit Mining and the Meter Box Company have partnered up to bring back the GPU Hangers better than ever. The iconic Misfit Mining GPU hanger is now going to be PVC injection molded, 
making them stronger and more heat resistant than ever before. This project will be 100% community funded and produced once our goal is met. As a thank you for all your support, we are running a massive giveaway for the entire month of September, giving away over $7,000 in prizes like the iPolo V1 Mini, Mini Classic Plus, G1 Mini, tons of meter boxes, GPU hangers, and limited edition NFTs. Check out the new GPU hanger and enter this amazing giveaway. No purchase is necessary. You may also purchase additional items for even better chances to win. The GPU hanger contest is worldwide extending through September 30th. Winners will be publicly announced on October 5th.